Hi again. Okay, we'll carry on with the with a power pod. So these um, these two pieces of ply, we're simply going to glue on there as doublers, so that when we um, attach it to the wing and we screw it up there, it's going to be um, nice and firm. Because we've glued the two um, <coughs> flanges in the centre, it's not super important which side these go because they're both equidistant. Oh, big word. Oh, big word. Mm. I knew such big words. I do like hot glue, it's just so quick and easy and strong. It may be a little bit heavy, but it's worth its weight in gold. Right, now I'm going to put a bead down either side. Bit of scrap. Scrap off the excess. Then on the other side. Not only does it scrape off the excess, it pushes it pushes the glue down into the joint as well. do that on, especially on this side, so it's going to sit, when it sits in the slot it's going to sit in there neatly, otherwise if we had a build up of glue there, um, she wouldn't sit in neatly. Okay, so there we have the, the pod ready for the EDF. Now, the, the plywood is going to be on the underneath, and most of the time we want the, the wires of the EDF coming out on top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the wires out and so if we mark sort of halfway between the two flanges and then halfway again, and then I'm going to push, I'm going to measure two inches in, 50 mil. And I'm going to slot down there. I'm going to get my little knife and cut out a for the wires to come through. Like so, so I've got a slot for the wires to go down and then hopefully Slot. 
have to wires down and the EDF in place like that. And that's the way it's going to sit in there like that. Now because it's a little bit loose, <coughs> what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this slot up a bit. Make it easy to get the wires in too, won't it? So, so I can push that round, tighten it up on the video. Because it's a little bit loose, I'm not going to do it on the bottom because I want to keep the bottom fairly clean because that's sometimes it's going to be on open on the underneath of the plate. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut another slot about halfway again on this side, down two inches, put a little V slot in there. So that we can close, we close that in onto the EDF. Now, what I generally do, again, you probably have your own ways, methods of doing this. <coughs> what I generally do is run masking tape around. around the EDF, make sure it's pretty well firm on there, okay now I can hot glue this into place and in the event that eventually I will need to uh, get it out, all I have to do is remove it and then remove the, um, the tape and I've got a nice clean EDF again. Right, they tell me that it's very important that these edges are nicely rounded. There is a bit of a flange on that and on the plastic ones it's quite a flange. So what I'm going to do Stand it inside that so that the um, sits nicely in there. And I'm also going to round off the outside of it. I might just run the iron around that later. Okay, we'll try again. Best idea for this ink off on me again too quickly. Why it went off me quickly like that, I'm sure of it anyway.
Okay, and then I'm going to run a bead around the face. Got our BDF pod. As you can see, I've drilled a couple of little holes in each flange. So that's actually ready now to go into the into the wing. Now I can cut out this section. For the, um, for the pod, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit small because I think from memory I made the patterns for, for the pod to be made from foam board, and I've made it from the deck one. But that's not important. We'll trim out it's easy enough to make it a bit bigger. We're coming in from the underneath. We're right down to about there, I think. So yes, it is a little bit tight, so it needs a little bit more out of that. sit nicely there. So our hole is now big enough. And as you can see, as you can see, it does actually sit lower than halfway. If we stop defocusing, I have to focus again. But it does have to be seen. And then I'm just going to clean this up. Okay. 
now we can start fitting our formers. <coughs> we can attach the, um, the servo and the linkage there. I've got, I want to get the formers on and get everything done in the flat form before I actually start doing anything like fitting servos that will lift it off the uh, So for now, so until next time, we'll leave it at that. Bye for now.